first at 11, a quieter night in South Florida after hours of reckless riding. Bikers once again taking over our streets for what they call wheels up, guns down. It's a dangerous, disruptive, and illegal MLK Day tradition. Fortunately, this year's ride did not lead to any serious injuries or worse, but tonight police say they've made dozens of arrests. CBS Force Ty Russell is live in Northwest Miami Dade with new details at 11. Ty. Well, Rudaban Elliott, police and deputies say on top of dealing with the off road vehicles on public highways and roadways, they've also taken roughly three guns off the streets in both Miami Dade and Broward counties. And riders claim that this is an event meant to bring awareness to gun violence. Well, into Monday night. Crews in Northwest Miami Dade towed away ATVs and dirt bikes, which are not allowed on public roads. Cell phone video shows some riders blocking major roads earlier in the day. That made it difficult for drivers. Some of the riders doing stunts and tricks are not from South Florida. We're trying to link with the Miami people. Hunter Belan lives in New Orleans. He traveled to Miami for the MLK holiday. It sucks to get my bike impounded because I wanted to ride, but we're going to get in the morning. It's all going to be good. He thought he was going for a joyride in Doral, a part of what's known as Wheels Up, Guns Down ride out, until police towed away his dirt bike. We literally, literally just ride bikes on the highway. If we see a car, we get out their way, go in front of them. We ain't hurting nobody. Video from Chopper 4 shows the opposite. In Southwest Miami Dade on 8th Street and 74th Avenue, riders blocked traffic and created heavy smoke in the area. It was a similar scene above one intersection in Doral. Nearby, officers were seen arresting one of the drivers. And along Okeechobee Road, troopers tried to get a handle on dozens of riders, but couldn't. They're doing wheelies and, and coming within inches of your vehicle. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. And several people have been hurt since the weekend. That includes two Miami-Dade police officers, and one rider was seriously hurt after a crash. And the latest numbers for both Miami-Dade and Broward counties, this is coming from law enforcement. 42 people arrested, 57 bikes and ATVs towed away, and close to 60 criminal traffic citations issued because of all of this. We are live in Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight. Ty, thank you for that. Now